guys, it's your girl Jackie here again. Welcome back to my channel if you're new. Welcome to my channel if you're not new. Today, guys, let us be entertained with all the random stuff that I get that I want you guys to learn as well. Hit the like button. Let's get straight to the video. Okay, okay guys. Can you lift it up a little bit? There's a there's a third. Just oh my god. Twenty three contact lenses. Someone in in some way. I getting it out here when I do. Oh god. Oh my god. I believe it. How is she even living? How is she Never even mind. not having eye infection? What is wrong? She's so oh lucky. God. We're delivering. I'm to be remembered. <laughs> they said that they're delivering. What? Bizarre. I cannot believe that she still, she still can see. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to count them. I think I've already counted more than ten or twelve. <gasps> what is she even doing? When she like put the, her contacts, she just forgets it and then like, okay, I'm gonna let. Like there's like a vacuum sucking her contacts. No, I'm serious. I can't believe you. What is going on? Aww. So cute. Okay, the song stopped. So let's stop dancing. <laughs> Okay, I love dogs. Do you love dogs? Comment down below. <gasps> it fell. Okay. You guys are so dramatic. Accents challenge. American. It's finally winter. Mexican. It's finally winter. English. It's finally winter. Irish. It's finally winter. Scottish. It's finally winter. French. It's finally winter. German. It's finally winter. Italian. It's finally winter. Egyptian. It's finally winter. Nigerian. It's finally winter. South African. It's finally winter. Persian. It's finally winter. Russian. It's finally winter. Indian. It's finally winter. Filipino. It's finally winter. Australian. It's finally winter. It's finally winter. This guy is so talented. He should do a voiceover. Maybe that's his job doing voiceovers. Barbers, make sure you deep clean your clippers and once Okay, guys. Barbers out there, all the ladies out there. Ladies or barbers. This is how you deep clean your stuff, you know? Put some water. All that hair. And run it through. Show this to a barber. Everybody watching, you're welcome. Another hack for you guys. Clean. Cl oh, I don't know. There's like another cleaning thing. Clipper, the hair clipper. Oh, this is this is so cool. Okay, what is that thingy on the middle there? Is it a tape? Okay, so they're painting a rock. They're glistening. Oh, what? Uh, uh. What just happened? That is so nice. That is so cool. A rock and in the middle is like a very opaque glass. A glass. I don't know. You better teach me how to do that. It's gardens and parks in the middle of its buildings. Oh. That's because in parts of Singapore, you're required to replace the land that you're building on with oh. the same amount of greenery. I so the greenery us, that is lost on the ground is replaced. All of the world around us would start to like do that as well, that would be very helpful. Each building must have greenery that's equivalent to at least 100% of the Whoa. land that it was built on. But some take it to the next level. This building has over 200% greenery for the land that it replaced. This is Whoa. Park Royal, and it's absolutely crazy how they managed to include greenery throughout the building. You can yeah. even go on a garden walk here. But all of this is not just done for a more beautiful look. There is a functional reason as well. See, buildings with more greenery end up using less electricity produce less waste, mm. and in general, have a lower carbon footprint. You also improve the air quality and keep the wow. temperatures cooler. This rooftop is over 50 stories high, and it's pretty much entirely a garden. And the wow. crazy part is that it's completely open to the public. This is a public area, so you can come up here for free. The government started this requirement over 10 years ago, and it only applies to certain areas like downtown Singapore. But it makes very clear what actually counts as greenery. For example, potted 
plans totally don't count. Many of these areas also end up being public spaces. I thought potted plants was part of the greenery, but it's not something to learn for people to enjoy even some luxury hotels wow. will share their trendy rooftop bar upstairs with a public garden it's nice when you show this ones in public so that they can people can see and be inspired also to do that in their country and at the same time it's like free advertisement guys from people like especially like if you got like an influencer there they would just share it and share and boom you got yourself a free advertisement you're welcome. Only when the correct key is inserted will each okay. pin stack be lit. I didn't. This is my first time seeing like a, a lock that is like cut, like cut cross section lock. So it's like I'm really intrigued it to about the this. the exact right height, Whoa. which allows the core to turn. That is so nice. But sometimes there's another way, and that's where comb picks come in. It takes advantage of a design flaw in which the mm -hmm. manufacturer leaves too much space above the shear line. That mm -hmm. means you can shove both the key pin and driver pin above the shear line, which means nothing is stopping the core from turning. Let me show you how it's done. On this five pin lock, I'm going to use this five pin comb, insert it into the keyway until each prong is under a pin stack, lift each of those pin stacks up, and then simply turn the comb like it's a key. Let's do that Whoa. one more time. That is so amazing. You guys, locksmith people doing locks, you better watch this and you better like, you know, improve. I think there are improved ways as well. Okay. Oh. That is very nice. Doing like a swimming pool, I think. That's what they're doing. Like one hole, I would be already tired. Okay. Oh, they're curving the bamboo to shape whatever it is. I, swimming pool. They're doing that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just skip it. <laughs> we love skipping this. We just want to know what happened. Oh! It's like water from underneath. A well. Oh, maybe they're gonna do a well and then they would suck that water. That is great. Oh, that is so nice. Whoa! They're very creative. I love it. It matches with their house. Oh, okay. They're they're filling the they're filling the swimming pool manually. That is noise. Oh, this is what they're gonna do, guys. There's like a bear. He's fighting for his own life. Like in this kind of survival thing. You have to make sure that you you want to like tell the bear that you're bigger than him and then that you're more dominant so that's why the man is screaming and then making himself just like fighting it off so that the bear would see at him, the bear would see him as a threat okay i'm glad he survived and he managed to even video this if that was me, I would not even even think of videoing myself. I just want to like let the bear be gone. Oh my god, that is such slow mo. Hear that sound? That's ASMR right there, guys. Let me just shut my mouth so that you can hear it as well. Who? Let's just do that one more time. Let's do that one more time. Let me show you how to make the viral potato cheese bread. It's super Ooh, easy this. to make and extremely. All Mama you have to do me. is mix your flour with this. milk and butter and knead for a cup of Comment down below if you want me to do again those um, trying TikTok food. 
and knowing that and, and then seeing if it works. Comment down below, guys, if you want more of those. In it. Now, mix your potatoes with mm. cream cheese, flatten your dough, add your potatoes and a lot of mozzarella, oh. and cook mozzarella. in a pan for five minutes each so, side. Oh. I'm glad that if you don't have oven, you can use the pan. That is very nice and efficient because me, my oven got destroyed. Anyways. Soup. Sexy. Oh my god. Is that like protruding out of the frame? But it's not. It's another. This is the next level, guys. Okay, let's just go. Push pin as. What is the finish? What? That's it? Okay. Apparently, that's it. My name is Max, and I'm 20, but not really because I'm 5. Uh, my name is Johnny, and I'm 20. This is my little corner. 20? Well, but wait a minute. Let me do the math. 20. The girl is 20, but she's like 5. The guy, the guy, the guy, the guy is 31, so like 11 years gap. Okay. And this is where I. She's really like acting. Her voice is like a kid. Her place is a kid, like a um, designed for kids. Her outfit, kind of like a kid, but like her body, her tattoos, guys. Most of my stuffies and nope. some other stuff. And oh this my. is my passy box. And then. Hello, it has all of my pacifiers and stuff Pacifiers! In it. I don't even know what's a passive box when she says pacifiers. I was just, oh, makes sense. And what? I have a lot of them. Whoa. Yep, this is a real thing. That is a full grown adult pretending to be a five year old mixed in with the staff at Truly trying to tell us that this is not unhealthy. Whoa. Full grown adult trying to act like a five year old. That's right, there is the conclusion. Mm, that looked fine. That looked fine in there. He fine. Let's see if he does it good. Oh, his hair <laughs> flew off. <sighs> Some crazy things. You're welcome. Duncan. Aww. Duncan. Are you kidding me right now? Duncan! Ah. Duncan! Duncan! Out! Aw, uh, it's a cute name, Duncan Donuts. Duncan! Oh. <laughs> I feel like it's because like the coolness of the mud, that's why they like it. Oh, the Logan, temperature. Oh. Because of your white. Let me influence. Her. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Duncan, for the love of mud. <laughs> He's really enjoying it. And then the guy, the other dog say, oh, that is so nice. All of them join the club. Let's join the club. Let's join the club. Let's join the club. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Anyways, again, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that... You found something new and something interesting to watch as well. And then just comment down below, guys, if you want more like this, more of like the crazy things, everything, like every random things that I can find for you guys. It's a great learning. Anyways, follow my social media up above. I'm Jacqueline Chan. The TikTok and Instagram, they're all the same, guys. So I expect you to follow me and see of my crazy and see. One of my like my crazy adventures. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye bye. Toodles.